Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 14th video in Windows Server 2016 tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure Hyper-V on 2016 full step by step. So what is Hyper-V? Hyper-V is a basically a hypervisor which pro provide platform to run and create virtual machines on Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Windows servers and we can we can also create a Hyper-V cluster which provides a highly available virtual machine infrastructure so let's see how to install Hyper-V so here is my lab environment I'm using two virtual machines to give you this demo so the first though so the first machine is uh, Win2K16 DC01 which is Active Directory and Active Directory server and DNS server you can see the name of machine is Win2K16 DC01 and here we have ADDS and DNS is running and my domain name is victorinfosol.com here is the machine so you can see Win2K16 DC01 my domain name IP address also is configured on domain so and I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this machine and the second machine which is Hyper-V server is Hyper-V01 and the role is Hyper-V server because we are going to use install and Hyper-V on this machine and I have assigned 8 GB RAM to this machine and the machine is joined in domain so so you can also here you can see the machine configurations Hyper-V01 machine is joined in my domain IP address is configured and 8 GB RAM so so you can also install a Hyper-V on your um, machine like Windows 8.1 Enterprise Windows 10 or or Windows Server 2012 anyone so uh, also you can install the machine it does not Hyper-V does not require to machine in a domain only you can install in work group platform also so here it is so Hyper-V installation pre-request we have some pre-requests which need to be fulfilled before you install a Hyper-V so the first thing you must have a 64 based processor Hyper-V is available in only 64 bit so we we have Hyper-V since Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2 which is come which comes a, which was come with uh, like 64 bit so uh, onwards we don't have any 32-bit mm, server operating system so the first thing is 64-bit based processor and the second thing is inter virtualization technology Intel VT or AMD virtualization AMD V is enabled a machine like this technology is basically be, uh, coming in motherboards or your processors so you must have to take care about these things also Intel VT and if if the Intel VT technology some sometimes Intel VT technology is not enabled it's uh, it's there in your hardware but it's not enabled in BIOS so you can go ahead and enable the Intel VT on your BIOS and the last is is hardware enforced data execution policy policy must be enabled so here it is let's install and configure Hyper-V so go to dashboard and manage add role and features so hyper-v is basically f role okay, uh, which is coming on 2016 or any server so we need to select a role based or feature based installation click next and here we have a server so click next and I have done both uh, I have enabled Intel VT technology and DPM and so my machine is 64 bits so if if you have any issue then um, any issue like machine is um, not Intel VT uh, enabled you can get the error message here while adding features so if any everything goes well it will uh, highlight the next click next button so click on next button and now we have a feature we don't need to install any feature click next and here we have a Hyper-V so what we have a Hyper-V Hyper-V allows you to uh, virtualize your server workload running these things so basically running a virtual machine so click next and we have a virtual switch I will take uh, describe once the, uh, it's created Hyper-V install so leave the default setting for virtual switches and migration and here we have a default storage where you want to save the virtual hard disk and virtual machines file so click next leave the default and 
here we need to select the restart the destination server automatically if required so yes Hyper-V required a reboot so click on install and now it's you can see installation started on Hyper-V 01 so it will take some time to get the installation done and during the installation of course the machine is required one or two reboot so we'll see how it goes on almost 40 percent done so now you can see the machine is getting rebooted so it will enable the Hyper-V role So it's booting up. So now it's one more reboot this is going on. Now finally we are at login screen so hit control at the Dell to log into server wait for server manager so installation succeeded and let's close this and now we can see on dashboard we have a Hyper-V and to use a Hyper-V we need to go to tools and we have Hyper-V manager here also you can go to ad uh, administrative tools and you will find the Hyper-V there like you can see here we have a Hyper-V manager so on Hyper-V manager you can see our server name which is selected here Hyper-V01 if you right click you will see the few options like new we have uh, uh, create a new virtual machine, new hard disk and floppy disk and we can also import export virtual machine and we have a Hyper-V setting here so click on it and you can see the default path for say uh, storing the files you can change here and also we have some setting like related to migration live migration setting and live migration simulation migration setting replication setting these things so also we have here if you go here you can see we have a virtual switch manager this is one of the important things so and virtual switch is basically the switch which we can create and use to communicate our virtual machine with our physical host or external network which is basically physical network in our infra in our uh, company so we have three type of uh, switches which is external internal and private so the first we can see here private 
this is basically only providing the uh, communication between virtual machine that run on physical computer so this is not going to communicate anywhere uh, your physical machine or anything so it it will only going to communicate with your virtual machine which is running on a single physical host like if I create a three virtual machine here though all the three virtual machine I want to only communicate then we can go ahead and create a, um, a private switch and the internal switch can be used to communicate the virtual machine and physical computer on this physical computer and between the virtual machine and physical computer so means you can create this internal switch to communicate your phys all the virtual machine and phys your physical machine together so and the external the last one uh, this is going to communicate your all the virtual machine over your physical network like your company network on um, and if uh, any you have any switches and f physical network is set up so it, you can connect the uh, communicate there by using external network so mostly in company in uh, organization we are using external switch so I'm going to create external switch here so click uh, on create and we can go ahead and here we can see I can give it to name V switch and you can see here option we have uh, our external external network which is our 1 Gbps network and we have allow management uh, operating system share this network so if you if you uncheck this then uh, it will not going to communicate uh, you're not going to use or communicate your physical network on this so basically this is going to uh, uh, remove your IP address and uh, TCP IP configuration from that uh, communication only so we can we, we will go with this and if you want to create any VLAN you can go ahead and create a VLAN also so let's click here and click on apply and this will apply the changes and you can click OK so we have edit desk and stop remove server so let's create one virtual machine first so see how it's going on so for creating virtual machine right click new and create click on virtual machine so it will give you the uh, before you begin you need to uh, make sure about these settings like default where you uh, and custom setting for virtual machine so click next now I'm going to call it like fin 2k16 oops we need to type fin 2k16 mem01 and you can change the default location so I'm going to use the default location and the generation 1 and generation 2 we have two type of virtual machine here so the uh, the main thing you need to take care about once you create a virtual machine you are not be able to change the generation of the virtual machines like the settings of virtual machine so the thing is if you select the generation 2 you can see the provide server newly virtualized features has UFI based boot and firmware and require support 64 uh, bit guest only so on generation 1 you can install a 32 bit and 64 bit both the machines and the hardware have some limitations so let's create a generation 1 or generation 2 so generation 1 machine click next and here we can assign the RAM so if you want to assign a RAM you can change or also you can use the dynamic memory for virtual machines so click next and select the switch and we have a hard drive size which you want to uh, create so by default size is for in a Hyper-V it's giving 126 uh, and we are, we are creating a VHDX file so maximum can be supported 64 TB so click next and we have here option install an operating system so you can select the operator of your device where from or you, your ISO image so I'm going to select the device ISO image D drive so I'm mounting the ISO image in my D drive for like 16 server and click OK and next and here you can see 
I have mapped the 2016 installation media in my D drive so looks good click on finish we are done with this and if you go here in settings you can see the settings like bio security options we have on 2016 and processor by default processor count is one we can increase it and we have hard drive CD drive everything there so now let's connect here and power on this I can see the installation is started So wait for some time we'll see how it goes and once the installation is started we will stop from there so this is basically how 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 we can create and install a virtual machine so 2016 welcome and st click on install So here we have option to install a desktop experience or code. So let's install a desktop experience. I accept the license agreement for Windows Server 2016. And here we have a hard drive. And now we can go ahead and install the operating system on this virtual machine. So this is all about uh, installing the Hyper, installing and configuring the Hyper V on 2016. And I want to say thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any question or any query related to this, please post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.